You guys see that? That's my vintage mystery box. Let's go. Yo, this is just a short clip of what else I got in the mail. There were three packages. One of them was four dead stock crow shirts that I got off this kid on Instagram. Man, dude. All single stitch, XL, Brandon Lee's big face. Dude, he hooked me up on a deal with all of these and I'm gonna keep two. One to rock, one to stock. One's going to my friend Andy, Cascadia Vintage. Other ones available. Probably put it on my Depop or uh, eBay, but yeah, crazy. And then this reversible Tommy puffer I got on Depop for a steal. I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. I'll uh, turn it inside out so you guys can see it. And here's it flipped around, man. This is, this thing is beautiful. I've, I've copped it for the personal. I might sell it like next winter, fall, if I don't get enough use out of it. But for 80 bucks, man, I feel like this is at least like a $150 jacket, so. I came up on that one. Man, crazy. All right, we're finally back with another vintage mystery box. I am beyond excited. I've been waiting over a month for this. I like, you guys don't understand how stoked I am. So first off, before I get into it, I'm going to kind of plug my other video. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a 10 piece box from the same seller. Definitely recommend that you go watch it if you haven't yet before you watch this one, just so you can get a vibe for how crazy the pieces in the box are. Now it took me a long time to get this. I ordered it at the end of November. It's now January 11th, I believe. So it took a while. And also just a quick side note, Please don't message me asking me to get you a hookup from this guy, to message this guy for you. He is very, very low key and he doesn't respond to everybody's messages. He has so many orders backed up. I don't even know if he's gonna continue doing this. He told me he was gonna try to figure out a system how to do this. So I can't tell you anything more than he would be able to tell you. People always message me, say, can you message him for me? Put in a word like, love you guys but i there's nothing i can do you just gotta wait it out so there's that piece before i get into it so this is a 20 piece box which i believe is 325 i believe it's 325 if not i'll correct myself but he has this option that he used to do that i don't believe he's doing anymore he told me he's not doing it and i haven't seen anybody else that has done an unboxing of this use the option and it's 20 extra dollars to curate it more, meaning you can tell him things you would want versus what you wouldn't want. And his box is already so insane for an extra $20, I thought, why not? So I did pay an extra $20 and told him I wanted all over print shirts, uh, maybe a wrap tee, anime tees. I just gave him a pretty broad spectrum of what I'm into. I told him I wouldn't be into like sports tees or like designer bootleg stuff since I already like do them or find them often. So just a little bit of background. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into it. All right, so the box is open. It is packed full this is what i see this is what it looks like also just so you guys know he did say he was going to throw in an extra fragile piece now the fragile pieces are normally the like banger tees the like hundred dollar plus tees so he said for everyone that was waiting since holidays he was going to throw in an extra fragile tee now when he told me he was shipping mine he said that i would have three fragiles meaning you normally get one when you buy a box I got an extra one from the holidays and then I think he gave me another one for waiting so long. So I believe this is going to be a 22 piece box. We'll have to see, but I'm gonna just pull them off in no order. I will save the fragiles for last though, but I'm gonna pull them off in no order. This is what they look like. They're all poly bagged with the descriptions on top. I'm gonna put it right down here. The first one to come off is Disney size large. I am so stoked, you guys, you don't even know. All right. Oh, and we got this blue 80s tag, which I just have learned about recently, and this looks like a ringer Mickey T. Yep, this is a ringer Mickey T. So blue rings, it has some stains on it that should come out pretty easily, but 
yeah, these 80s tags, they can go pretty well. I actually just had a blue, the exact same shirt, but in blue, and it sold for $90. 90 bucks so i don't think this one is worth as much it could be but i think it's at least probably a 50 60 shirt so i paid 300 and i believe 45 dollars for this box so already like a 60 dollars shirt really good all right wrestling xl next one on a triple a tag extra large i'm gonna unfold it for you guys nothing on the back what is this guy this is a oh yeah a stone cold shirt and that's the bottom line because stone cold said so dated 1992 dang this is so sick 1992 stone cold tea this is crazy not that knowledgeable on wrestling tees, but just based off of it, I would say it's probably at least a $30 shirt. So really sick. Band XL. So we're looking for those giant tags. Let's see what we got. This is a very thick tag. This is on a jerseys XL. Looks like a mid 2000s. Oh, I already see what this is. It's a corn shirt. Very sick. Oh, and Rob Zombie. Oh, yo, this is so sick. Follow the Leader Tour 1999. The back hit is crazy. Corn and Zombie. Dang, that's nuts. That's really sick. People really charge up for like corn and slipknot tees on Depop. I'm not condoning it, but if I wanted to, I could probably get like at least probably 50 bucks for this on Depop. Wild. I might keep this for a little bit. We're three shirts in. I'm gonna pull out the Fragiles now since I see them. He packed this so tight. I only see two Fragiles. So I might have to shoot. Oh, no, here's the other one. Thanks for the weight, the extra Fragile. So there's the extra one. Here's the one he promised to the people that he was late on orders for. And then here's the original one. So these three Fragile tees I'm gonna put to the side. I'll be doing those last. I'm gonna do this green one that flew off. It's an 80s size medium. Ooh, it's really thin. Spring Ford Classic tag. This is a, ooh, it's like paper thin. Uh, Latoya Jackson, Trump's Castle world premiere. I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this. I really don't want this shirt. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say much else about that, but I'll have to look this one up. I have no idea on value. I'll have to look that up. Got a cartoon XL. Very sick. Mickey tag. It's Mickey tag. Oh, it looks like an Animaniacs shirt, I believe. Oh no, it's just a Mickey shirt. I don't know why it would be Animaniacs if it was Mickey, but that's a really sick tee. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Homie looks like he has Tim's on. Single stitch, pretty cracked up, but really, really sick. Size, one size fits all. Yeah, probably like an easy 30, 40 bucks on Depop. Good stuff. Brand XL. This looks like a Fila shirt. I'll show you guys right there. It doesn't look like a Fila shirt, it is a Fila shirt. Made in Italy, Fila Italy. I don't know if this is a bootleg or something. I don't know. Fila Italy. The tag looks like a bootleg tag. So I don't know about that one. Maybe 15 bucks. Pro Team Large. No tag. And it looks like a Flyers tee. Yep, Philadelphia Flyers embroidered. It is double stitched. Kind of cool, maybe like a $20 tee. I did pay extra to not 
get any sports tees, but I know he's been crazy busy and everything. So I don't even know if he really customized the box, but promo size large. It's on a credit tee blank. Never seen that before. I think this is a Highlander shirt. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, damn, there can be only one, 1996, single stitch, damn, this is crazy, I don't know what the value on Highlander tees are, but I'm guessing it's probably like maybe 50 bucks or more, I'll have to look it up, but that's a crazy tee, crazy movie promo tee, XL Band. XL band. Ooh, okay. I don't, I don't, I'm trying not to even look at it, but you guys see the giant tag? It's on a giant tag. What is this? Eagles? Yeah, I believe this is the Eagles. Eagles World Tour 1994. That's pretty cool. I don't know much about Eagles stuff, single stitch. Cool enough tea. I'll have to look it up, but I don't think I could get more than like 50 bucks for this. I could be wrong, but still sick. Wrestling size large. It's on an old Toltex tag, size large. Looks like a New World Order tea. And it is, it's just a logo, New World Order tea. I don't know how much OGs of these guys go for, maybe like 30 bucks or so. Pretty sick, double stitched. Racing XL. Let's hope for an all over print. And it kind of looks like one Chase Authentics XL. Pull this boy out, ooh, ooh. This looks sick. Oh my God. Oh, 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 wow, wow, dude, wow, Dale Earnhardt Sr., the spirit within, <laughs> the will to win, oh my god, this is, this is, whew, single stitch, this is nuts, dude, ah, uh, might have to keep this for a little bit to rock. The just branding all over it is so crazy. I feel like this is probably like at least a $50, $60 tee. Probably more though, but that's really dope. Stoked on that. 80s, doesn't have size. It's a yellow tee. Oh, this is an ALF tee, that's sick. Alpha to say no problem. Yeah, no problem. That's really sick. Single stitch. Not sure what vintage Alpha tees go for, but very, very sick. Most of the stuff will be on my Depop or you can hit me up on Instagram if you want any of it. Um, but yeah, that's really dope. Really love the color and the graphic. If I had to give an estimate, like at least probably 30, 40 bucks. Could be a lot more. Like I said, I don't know. I'm not looking at vintage Alpha stuff ever. Band, size large. Fruit of the Loom Lofties, large, what is this, nothing on the back, what is it, what is this, Fair V Well, oh dang, a Jerry Garcia tribute shirt, you know my love will not fade away, that's crazy, that's really sick. Not uh, really a Grateful Dead fan, but still really dope, double stitched. I'm not sure how much this could go for. I know that like uh, tribute shirts can go for a decent amount depending on who they are. So really sick, would have to look it up. Off the top of my head, I'd say at least probably like 40, 50 bucks. We have one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Five left and then the three fragiles. So, XL Animal T.
Ooh, looks like an all over print. Made at the beach, XL, California. Looks like an all over print like lion tee. Oh, if this is an all over print lion tee, I'm keeping it. Yup, Las Vegas. That's dope, single stitch. I'm a Leo, lion's my favorite animal. So I'm gonna have to keep this. It's just crazy, look at that. That's a really sick tee. If I were to sell it, probably like a $30, $40 dollar tee. I'm really hoping I get that return on those three fragiles, man. Really, really hoping. Novelty XL. This is like a pink shirt on a Panama Jack one size tag. Panama Jack? I don't know what Panama Jack is. I'm sorry. Single stitch on both hems. Don't know what Panama Jack is. Is it a TV show? Is it a movie? Am I holding something crazy that I don't know about? I don't know. I'm gonna look it up as soon as this is over. Promo medium. On a old Haynes beefy tag, 90s Haynes beefy tag. What is this? Snack this? Oh, smack this? Oh God, smack, <laughs> snack this? Uh, that's pretty sick. Uh, you cry like a bitch is all I gotta say to that. That Godsmack song. I don't know. Probably like 20, 30 bucks. It's whatever. Sportswear, large. Oh, looks like a Nike, Nike great tag. It's really dope. Like 90s, 80s tag. John? John. John? John Senro? I'm really sorry. I'm like pretty bad with sports stuff. I don't exactly know what this is. I'll look it up when I'm done. The vibe is crazy. The colors are really sick. Has some staining, size large. I do not know what player this is. I'll have to look it up afterwards, but pretty sick tee, single stitch. One left, and then we just got the fragiles left. So, promo XL. Looks like an all over print tee. It's on like a mid 2000s Gildan. This looks like a Lucy tee. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is I Love Lucy. I believe. Um,. This is nuts though. This is really crazy. I did ask him for all over print shirts. So I think I've got like three. So that's really, really sick. Oh wait, it has something right here. Yep, I love Lucy. Dang, that's really sick. I'll have to look this one up, but I think this is probably higher in the value. Maybe like a 80 plus dollar T. Really sick though. All right, the fragiles, the three fragiles. Let's hope I get an anime tee, a rap tee, like a Nirvana tee. It would be crazy to pull like any of those on a $300 box. I feel like with all that stuff, I've already made my money back. So let's hope this brings in some profit. Let's do it. Okay, so. Haynes. Oh, I already know what this is and I'm keeping it. Literally just off of this, I already know what this is. This is a Madonna tee. Yup, yup, yes! <laughs> I've wanted this tee, I've literally wanted this tee so bad. I'm keeping this. Blonde Ambition World Tour tee. Oh my God. Yeah, this is like a at least like at least like a hundred dollar t probably like 150 dollar t yeah i'm keeping this blonde ambition 1990 very very sick that i pulled something that i'll be keeping out of this box thank you man thank you so sick two left 
Let's hope that these guys can bring me in some money now that I'm keeping that shirt. Got a res Resurrection. I've never seen that before. This kind of looks like a Metallica tee, which I got from his other box. Oh my God. A fully loaded all over print Metallica tee. This is crazy. Off the Glowed album. Dang, dude. Wow, that's nuts. Probably like a hundred dollar tee at least. Gonna have to look up and see if there's any comps on this, but that's really sick. Really, really sick. All right, last one. Thanks for the weight, the extra fragile. All right. Okay, let's do it. HBT tees, never seen that tag before. I, I think this is a wrap tee. I think this is a wrap tee. I'm about to freak out. Oh my God, dude. A Martin Luther King Jr. wrap style tee. Man. This was the extra that he threw in. The sleeves are like cut, but it's single stitch. This thing is absolutely wild. Just so you can see it one more time. Yeah, that guy will be for sale though on my Depop. Oh, wow, man crazy crazy box extremely stoked with it i think he did a pretty good job with what i told him i got some all over print tees i got that like wrap tee i got that madonna tee that i'm going to keep for myself so i'm very very stoked if you guys watch my other video you should comment and say what one you like more what you think i got a better deal on do you think i got a better deal on the 125 dollars box or the like 340 box for the pieces that i got so leave a comment leave a like if this is your first time watching me Jackson with Loveless Vintage. I do thrift videos. I do Depop videos. I do trip to the bins videos, stuff like that, unboxing videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. All right, y'all. So I'm going through everything and pricing everything out. And it seems like I was really wrong about this shirt. Now I can't even find it online. I can't find it on eBay. I can't find it on Depop. I can't find it on any of the other selling apps i haven't seen completed listings for it but i know that the load like blood and semen shirt i totally forgot but i remember that the load blood and semen shirt goes for like 500 bucks and i've never seen this one before and it's of the same album and it's the same kind of style like all over print so i i don't know comment below what you guys think but i think this could potentially be a like at least like 400 dollars shirt i don't know it might be a weird like bootleg but i don't know i'm just gonna definitely bump the the value up from what i said this one's crazy though all right y'all i just went through everything counted it up i got some comps on stuff i did my totals and everything so I paid $345 for all of this stuff right here. Now, what I totaled it to be worth is $1,150. That's with putting the Metallica tee at around $300. Again, I couldn't find one online that was just like that. The other ones, the Blood and Siemens, go for like four to 500. So I'm just putting it at 300. It could be worth. 100 150 200 i'm not sure leave a comment below with all of that added in i put like 10 bucks on the fila like 20 bucks on this some of the like lower tier stuff even with all that stuff i'm coming out with about 805 dollars in profit 805 dollars now i'm keeping this one so take her take away like 100 bucks from that so with stuff I'm actually going to sell, not going to be keeping, I'm making about $700 off of this box. So absolutely crazy. Thanks again for watching. Later.